Uh, I'm Simon Custer. I interned with the uh, Tanaguchi Lab this summer. My mentor is Hugo Shino, and I'm in the wet lab track. I'm Kelsey Sanders, and I think I'm in the data science track because Spencer Smith's my mentor in the Schumer's lab. My name is Matthew Hader. Um, I'm working in Dr. Young's lab. Uh, my name is Alexander Refowich. Um, I'm in the Sackman lab, and my mentor is Mike Guest. My name is Abrar, and I've been working with Dr. Long Yan in the um, optical and light workshop. So I'm Jacqueline Chen, and uh, I'm working in the molecular bio uh, part of the program with the Yasuda lab. My name is Matthias Jarger, and I'm working at the Mechanical Workshop with Marcus Clements. Uh, I am Jeffrey Moody. I am in the Neuroscience track, and my mentor is Ken Hoon Jung. I'm in the Quant Lab. When I was in sixth grade, I got a little uh, microcontroller chip called an Arduino. And since then, I've always been uh, programming and creating small robots. I was really interested in the medical field and I really wanted to see what the other side was, the research side. Um, I just really like science and I've never been as good at it as compared to like reading, but I don't like reading at all. So I just take as many science classes as I can and try to get the most experience to get better at what I actually do enjoy. Uh, I was in my TOK class in fifth period and I was very excited. I was actually at the state science fair. <laughs> when I got the email, we were in the middle of planning the vacation, and I turned to my mom and said, so I think I might have messed up our summer plans. I'm going to be a little busy for six weeks. Uh, definitely the most uh, interesting was the scanning electron microscope. It's on like the first floor, and uh, I always read about these uh, microscopes uh, in like textbooks and in school. I know that like you can, it's like really like you can't even imagine how like the powerful, like how powerful they can magnify. And I was really excited because we got to, we all got, we all had like a chance to use it. And for example, we were looking at um, um, a brain slice, and you can actually see like every single like like the fibers of like the dendrites, the mitochondrial, like all the tubules and everything, in like really crisp detail and really. Really, really magnified. I got to see one of Monica's live images where it's a neuron firing and then you can watch the astrocyte next to it like fire slowly after it and you can see how they interact with each other and like that was just cool because it's stuff that's happening in your brain that makes everything possible that now I can see it happen. I used CRISPR-Cas9 which is a uh, one of the in 2012 it was it was a uh, not discovered, but it was manipulated in a way which you could edit any part of the genome with a, a single guide RNA, a synthetic uh, guide RNA, and I, I had been interested in that before, and I actually got to do it, and so I was very, very excited about that. I got to be around like other fellows that are studying here, post um, back fellows, and people that are working on the doctorate degrees, and just hearing about their passions and why they're here, why they're like studying, like researching every day. Being around them was inspiring. If you're gonna do something, you might as well be passionate about it and make sure that you have everybody else because at one point you were the person who was stuck by yourself. There's a lot of repetitive uh, experiments and there's a lot of failures. And when you get it at success, you're like kind of excited inside. <laughs> when you're working on something, don't give up on that idea. No matter how hard that concept gets, don't quit on that. We had multiple concepts that seemingly were impossible. You just couldn't do them with the code. It was impossible. But we found ways to scrap our way around and eventually dig our way to solving that problem. So no matter how hard it seems or no matter how impossible it seems, how it seems you cannot do it physically, there's always going to be a way if you just try to scrape your way to it hard enough. Incredible. Um, inspiring. Amazing. Invaluable. Refreshing, I guess. Great. Mm. 
pretty awesome. Oh, I got it. I got it word. All right, let's hear it. Revolutionary.